chiropractic clinic. Your back hurts, another body part hurts all the time, it makes you mad, the pain drives you crazy, you just want to pick something up and throw it across the room? If you can, at the Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic, you get complete chiropractic care and pain relief to help you move better, have a less painful life, and of course, achieve a healthier lifestyle. The Weatherton Chiropractic Clinic is now located at two locations in Savannah, Georgia, at 329 Eisenhower Drive and in Pooler at 114 Canal Street, Suite 603. So visit Dr. Bart Weatherington at the Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic for all your chiropractic needs. And welcome back. It's the coach at Coach's Corner. It's breakfast with the coach every Saturday morning from 8 to 11. Got my pancakes. I know they're going to be cold when I eat them, but you know what? I got to show you what the food looks like. And, of course, in the little side dish, got some uh, some bacon and eggs on the side. Got my cup of coffee. Every Saturday morning, 8 to 11, you can come in and have breakfast. And from 9 to 10.30, hey, come by. Say hi. Coach is right here live back here in, 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 in the uh, Coach's Corner restaurant with the gazillion TVs all over the place. But I will return back out to the sound garden as soon as it gets a little cooler outside. So, But once again, don't forget, the Braves, the TP is going up. That's right. The TP is going up this week. They'll take on the Brewers on Thursday. you got to be excited about it. John Henderson, I mean, will he get that mohawk? Will I get my head shaved again? you got to check it out when the TP goes up here at Coach's Corner. All right, whether it's in chiropractic clinic after the week, Favorite part of the show, this is where we bring on the kids, the kids that have done something special. Well, two weeks ago against Ware County, big football game for the Benedictine Cadets at Memorial Stadium. This young man has been making a name for himself at Benedictine, okay? His father, Anthony Dooley Bryan, was a heck of a football player at Gross High School. Son's over at Benedictine now, but I'm telling you right now, 15 catches, 212 yards. When do we have a receiver in Savannah, Georgia do that? Not very often. And he plays defense. He runs the ball back. He does everything. And uh, let me get to my notes here from the good old ball coach, Danny Britt. Zaquan Bryan is a special athlete. He is incredibly smooth in space and has great ball skills on offense, defense, special teams. He's a big asset for this program. Joining me now on the Coach's Corner Hot Seat, this week's Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic Athlete of the Week, and they call him Quan, Quan Bryan. Quan, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Hey, it's always a pleasure. Hey, where, where's Dooley? Right here. Right here? Dooley, step in. <laughs> oh, uh, he's not ready. He's not ready. To, uh, there he is. Hey, coach. What's, how's it going? I'm how you doing? Well, you know, I got to bring you on here because you were a terror over at Groves High School way back in the day. How's it watching that young man playing football? I would say a little better than you did. <laughs> A lot, way, a way lot better than me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you got to be proud of this kid. He's doing something special. He's got a lot of talent. And uh, were you a uh, Iron Man football player? I heard you were a terror on defense. Oh yeah, I played. Uh, well, we only had uh, well, at Groves, I didn't have to, but at Tunkins, I played both. I played every. We never came up the field. We only had thirteen players. <laughs> so, all right. Well, congratulations. He's doing a great job. I know we still got another year to go. Love what you're doing, Ed Dooley. Thank you, Coach. I mean, good friend, okay, Anthony Dooley Bryant, good good friend. Uh, we've known each other for a long time now. And to watch this young man crawl to be the football player he is, and he's not even got to the college level yet, I mean, it's something special. So, uh, all right, Quan, this is all about you. So when did Dad throw you into the game of football? When did you start playing sports? I started playing sports at the age of four for the West Side Whoopers. Nice. Anything yes, else besides the football? Um, played a little bit of basketball and a little bit of baseball. So, so I heard soccer in the background yeah. too, eh? Soccer, yes, sir. What do you like? The soccer with your foot or the soccer with your hand? The football with your hands? So, uh, football with my hands. <laughs> I figured you would say that. I figured you would say that. So, uh, like I said, Danny Britt, your head coach, says you're special. You play offense. You play defense. You play special teams. If we got Coach Britt on here – not Coach Dooley, okay? What would he tell me your best football skill is? My vision, seeing the seeing the field, seeing the space, knowing what's going on around me. Now, I didn't throw this question in there. I'm going to put you on the spot here. What's the difference of seeing the vision on offense versus seeing the vision on defense? Offense, you see the whole way much easier. 
everything comes real quick. Defense takes a little time, but eventually you'll see everything is going to start moving fast and come come to you easily. Nice, nice. I pulled you up a little closer here. You're better looking than your dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm talking to Zayquan Bryant. Quan Bryant, he's uh, this week's Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic after the week on the call of the Monster Sports Board, live from Coach's Corner. Uh, unbelievable game two weeks ago against Ware County. 15 catches, 212 yards. So uh, you've been playing football for a long time now. What's your routine been to make you a better football player or a better athlete? Uh, going out to the field any any free day, getting some feet work in, uh, just catching the ball. If I'm not running routes, uh, working on hands, my, yeah, hands to ball, making sure I got everything on point, just getting extra work in outside of football practice. All right, so we talked about it. You played all these sports while you're a young kid. Now, if you couldn't play football, what would be your favorite sport to play? I have to go with baseball. Baseball. Coach Farmer is probably chopping at the bit for that. You and Justin Thomas in the outfield, nobody yeah. will ever get a hit. Coach Farmer, Coach Farmer gave me to come trying to get me to come play baseball real bad. So <laughs> I'm thinking about it. You're thinking about it. Yeah, well, it's, it's a good game. It's a little a little boring versus football, but if you keep your head in the game, it could be a very exciting game. Yeah, so um, now we know you're an outstanding athlete, okay? Outstanding student. I saw a couple of these social media things with your big academic awards. What is something that people don't know about Quan Bryant? Um, uh, <laughs> what do you like to do outside of football? I like to go fishing a lot. So I like that a just, just like the outdoors. I don't like being in the house all day. I just like getting out, doing something. If, if I can't do football, then doing something with friends, just hanging out, something like that. All right. So you like fishing. What's the bigger challenge? Catching a fish or covering a receiver? I have to go with catching a fish. Catching a fish <laughs> takes time. You can't rush it. It just takes a lot of time. But, you got to have patience, right? Yes, sir. So if you just joined, you're listening to, or watching the Call to Monster Sports Board live at Coach's Corner. It's breakfast with the coach every Saturday morning. We're at the Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic after the week with this outstanding football player, student athlete from Benedictine, uh, Zaquan Bryan or Quan Bryan, whatever you want to call him. So uh, who do you look up to? I mean, every every kid looks up to a role model. Who's your role model? I have to go with my cousin, John Wesley Kennedy the third. At BC, he set a lot of records, and I'm out to beat those records. But I really look up to him since I was little, since I was watching him at Savannah State. Everything that he did, I just really liked his game. He is in high school and in college. Yeah, John, John, uh, West, West Kennedy, whatever they call him, outstanding. Mm -hmm. One of the best football players I think ever to come out of uh, Savannah, Georgia. So uh, I didn't know that was your cousin because somebody compared you to him. And I said, well, now I know why they're comparing to him. A little blood in, blood in the system there. So <laughs> tell the fans about Coach Britt and the coaches staff over at BC. I mean, they've done a great job. Th that program has turned around over the last 11 years when Coach Britt came in. Tell us about Coach Britt and the coaches over there. Good. Yeah, they're awesome. They put the, put the time in and the effort to help us to where we are now and where we, where we won two state championships. Um, they're still doing everything perfect, not perfect, but everything to get better each day, work hard every day, just doing things to get us better academically and on the football field. Now you have to deal with three different position coaches. Tell us about those guys. Uh, I love, I love them. Uh, some days you can go to them for help and they'll help you. Some days they're fun, loving, just want to do fun things during practice, but also they have the mentality to win, and I like them. Yeah, it seemed like a bunch of good guys. And the, 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 the crazy thing is they're part of the brotherhood over there because some of them or most of them are, are BC alums, right? Yes, sir. All right. So unbelievable game, 15 catches, 212 yards. You've had games where – You've got a couple of touchdowns and uh, multiple touchdowns. What was it like in that game? Uh, you know, 15 catches is unbelievable. Oh, it was awesome after the game when I found that out. 
I didn't I didn't know that I had 15 catches. I thought I only had like 10, it felt like. But I'm surprised and really excited that I got 15 catches for over 200 yards in one game. It's just awesome. Nice, nice. And now recruiting during COVID-19, while it's getting better now, you can go visit places. What's that been like for you? Uh, what what schools have been uh, – have what schools have – Showing you some love. Uh, Coastal Carolina, Central Michigan, no, yeah, Central Michigan, uh, Michigan State, um, who else? LSU, Louisville, Washington State. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, you got a lot of them. So, what's yeah. the recruiting process been like? Uh, are you doing Zoom meetings or are you go into these places? How, how? What's the recruiting process been like? I've been going to some places, uh, watching games, looking around. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. Now, we got to give some love out to your parents, to your family. How has your family support made you a better student athlete? They always have my back. Um, like I said, on free days, my dad would take me to the field or my mom would just come out to the field and help me with footwork. Um, <laughs> my dad would uh, take me to the gym, get a workout in. Anything to just get me better on the field. And then at home, my sister, real genius, she helps me with my homework a lot. And she just makes sure that I stay on my grades. Well, I know dad and mom and your sister are stressed the grades is going to get you somewhere. They yes, all sir. know about your God given talent, student athlete, uh, well, athlete. Uh, you got to keep on top of those grades. All right. So, uh, got a little kid comes up to Zaquan Brian and says, Zaquan, how do I become a football player or, uh, uh, an athlete like you, what advice would you give them? To work hard and never give up. Always follow your dream, whatever, whatever it is. If it's soccer, if it's volleyball, anything, baseball. baseball <laughs> yes, sir. Always follow your dream and never give up. And always, always look forward. If if you are if you're like having a bad week in school or having a bad week at practice, always try to get better each day. Never give up. Always look forward and try to better yourself the next day, every one, every day. So, yes, sir. Every day you get better. Okay. Last question. Let's put the football aside. After football is over, college and hopefully someday big time. What would you? What, what do you want to do uh, as far as a profession? As far as what you want to do in the future? I want to do sports management. Nice. Uh, hopefully one day own a business like a. Um, open up a gym for like kids, something that my dad did open up a gym for kids to come like work out, but also have like a field kind of to where they can do like fit, like feet work and sled drill or something like that. And also have like a track so they can like track kids. They can come in, work out, try to just get better. I got you, Quan. Well, many, many years ago, you remember when you came on the radio show? Yes, sir. So this is your second time you're Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic after the week. He was how old were you? Six back then? Yes, sir. So it's like ten years ago, right? Yeah. And now now you're driving and now you're playing big time football and it's still gonna get bigger. Keep up the great work. We'll talk to you next next year. Well, we'll talk I talk to you again this year, but we'll talk to you when you choose that college that you want to go to. Keep up the great work and uh keep your dad in line, okay? Yes, sir. All right, congratulations. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. I mean, what, what a great kid. I mean, I had him on when he was six years old, uh, you know, youth football. He was playing in a big all-star game. And you knew he was going to be something special way back then. But remember the name, Quan Bryan. This kid is special. And uh, what's going on at BC, first two games they had losses. Coaching staff, Danny Brink, got them together. I mean, I think they're averaging like 50 points a game the last couple of games. Just doing a great job. So, uh, once again, Quan Bryan is this week's Weatherington Chiropractic Clinic Athlete for the call of the Massey Sports Board.